All right, you guys, today we'll take a look how to intertwine non-destructive fonts here in Illustrator. So for this tutorial, we're going to need two different fonts. And for the first one, I'm going to go with Sloop Script Medium. And then the second is Desire Pro Regular. By the way, these are free Adobe fonts you can download. I'm going to leave the links in the description. So the first thing I'm going to do is recolor these. And we're going to need to position these fonts on each other. But I want this Panther text to be on the bottom. So I'm going to right click on the text, Arrange, and click on Send to Back. This is going to position the text in the back. And the main point is to arrange this script text. I'm also going to recolor it to see it better. So the main point is to arrange the script font in a way that most of the letters can be intertwined. For example, you can see the letter O, the letter I can be intertwined, also the letter S. The letter I has a little bit of issues, but I'm going to bring it here. So these are some of the details that you should take in consideration. By the way, if you're not sure how to position it, you also can go to the opacity and decrease it. So it's going to be transparent and you can see exactly what you're doing wrong. For example, here it has to leave a little bit of space so you can intertwine it. After you are done, you can go back to the opacity and increase it back. And from here, I'm going to select both of these texts. And let's go to the object, intertwine and select make. And as you can see, the arrow changed its thumbnail. And now you can bring the arrow where you want to intertwine. And check this out. If I bring it here, it is going to highlight this area where I can intertwine. I'm just going to click on it and it's going to position it in the back. Now, if you want to position it back to the front, all you need to do is just click on it again and it's going to reposition it or position it in the back. But I think I like it in the front. Instead, I'm going to position this one in the back. Now, this clicking method won't work all the time perfectly. So there's another method you can do. All you need to do is select that specific area where you want to intertwine manually. And I'm going to connect it and it's going to do its magic. So anyways, I'm going to speed this up to finish the process. And check this out. This is how the final result looks like. Now, you also can make it more fancier if you want. I'm going to select the text and I'm going to go and add some stroke. I'm going to go with like 0.75. Now, because the text is fully editable, you can see the stroke lines of the letters are separated. Now, you can fix this issue by going to the appearance, by adding stroke and fill and bringing the stroke under the fill. But it's going to create other issues in the intertwined section. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to press and hold Alt, create a new duplicate, drag it. And I'm going to go to the fill color and add black. And I'm going to select it and send it to back. And this is how I intertwine fonts in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.